Hey guys, Michael Sanchez, violin teacher here. And I wanted to go through three ways that you guys can help your bow playing as far as a lot of you guys are probably hitting other strings when you're playing the violin. So I'm gonna go over three things that are gonna really help you today. So the first thing is really pay high attention to your right elbow. So when you're on the G string, your elbow should be above the instrument like so. When you're on the D, it should be about even with the instrument. When you're on the A, it should be just below the instrument. And then on the E, make sure that your elbow is right by your side. A lot of students, when they change strings, they change the strings more in the wrist. And what that does is it doesn't really allow you to have that really accurate bow plane and, and sort of build the muscle memory that you need. So you want the wrist to stay just like so, but you don't want to change strings with the wrist. So that's number one, is watch the elbow position. Number two is use the whole bow. So a lot of you guys are just using way too little bow when you're playing the violin. I see this all the time in a lot of the videos that you guys are showing me. So try as much as you can to use the whole bow as that's gonna really spread things out and allow you to sort of get that really good sound, but also just to help you not hit other strings. So a lot of you guys that are just kind of in this little, um, little area when you're bowing, it just makes it harder to be accurate. So really pay attention to using more bow. Number three is avoid bow rocking. So go ahead and just grab your instruments and I want you just to play on an open string. A lot of you guys when you're playing, your bow is just slightly rocking instead of staying in the same plane. So what you can do is really pay attention to the hair and make sure that the hair does not rock when you're on the same strings, just like so. This would be incorrect. Like that. So uh, just warm up with open strings and go maybe from D to A or you know A to G and just really pay attention to where the, the bow hair is in, re in retrospect to the strings. So that's a really good tip. Thanks so much for watching. Um, so I have so many great tips and advices for you guys that are interested in improving on the violin. I have a, actually a free vibrato mini course that I'd love to give to you that's going to really help you to really get some good technique in both hands. So a lot of you guys just have a lot of tension when you're playing the violin and it's causing you guys to not do your vibrato right, it's causing you guys to not get a good sound. So I highly recommend for you to download the mini course. If you're on YouTube, it should be in the description. Um, if you're on Facebook, it should be easily found and uh, it's gonna really help you out it, it, and it's totally free. So if you guys enjoy that course, it's gonna really help you and thanks so much for watching.